Tonight, a mother is thankful to wrap her arms around her son. He's Mo Creek. His name may sound familiar to you. He's an international basketball player in Ukraine, but he's from Oxon Hill. Before heading overseas, he played hoops at George Washington University and for the Indiana Hoosiers. Well, Creek was stuck in the war zone for days in Ukraine. He and his family spent days wondering when and how he could return home safely. Tom Dempsey talked with him about his journey back to Maryland. I liked it in Ukraine. I played in Ukraine. This would be my third year. After first becoming a standout basketball player in high school in Maryland and later at Indiana and GW, Mo Creek played professionally in the Ukrainian Basketball Super League. I was having a ball, you know, meeting new people, meeting good friends, good people. But last week, his career and the lives of millions of Ukrainians became disrupted as Russian forces invaded the country. A war that led to Creek spending time away from the court a big one right here. and instead hunkered down in bomb shelters. At that time, it was really crazy because now you're in it and you don't want to be. I heard the shellings. I heard the missile strikes. Over 5,000 miles away, his mother followed reports on the conflict with her son inside the war zone. I've never felt so hopeless and I know he's a grown man but he's still my boy. Creek's journey to get home turned into a dangerous ordeal taking him through some of the hardest hit areas of the country. Just seeing some of the roads like in crumble like you can tell something hit it. He eventually made it to the Moldova border where he then flew to Romania then Amsterdam and finally back home. He was stuck. If you go into ESPN, you see the it was the most incredible feeling touching my son and I get teased now like you literally patted your son down a professional athlete but more importantly a son and brother back with his family after seeing war up close this situation is hampering a lot of people it's not just hampering the people that's in Ukraine it's hampering people from all over the world <laughs> this makes me take nothing for granted anymore Tom Dempsey WUSA 9 now, we checked Mo Creek's Instagram page earlier today. He posted that there's a welcome home celebration happening tomorrow. It's going to be at the Southern Regional Technology and Recreation Complex in Fort Washington. It starts at 3 o'clock.